Hi guys, my name's Vic and today we're going to show you how to set up MQA via Tidal on the latest iOS software. Right, so let's begin. So first of all, we're going to introduce the five things that you need. The first thing is an iPhone. The second thing is an MQA enabled DAC, such as the XDSD. And the third thing is the Tidal app. And the fourth thing is this, a CCK cable, camera connection kit cable. You need this to be able to connect the XDSD with the iPhone because we cannot use MQA over Bluetooth. Now this is only available from Apple. And finally, you need a really nice pair of headphones or in ears. So the first thing we're going to do is switch on the XDSD. Now that's correct, green means wired mode and that's what we need today to set up MQA on the iPhone. If the light shines blue, you're in Bluetooth and that's not going to work, so just hold it down until it changes to green for wired. So we've got the XDSD in wired mode, so now we need to attach the CCK cable. Simple. So the next thing we need to do is attach the CCK cable, like so. You'll notice that the LED has gone solid white, which this means that we're connected and you're ready to go. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is go to Tidal, like so. Then you need to find My Collection, like so. And then Quality, and we need to go to Streaming. Now, as you can see, for both Wi-Fi and cellular, this is set at normal. We need to change that to Master. Once you've done that, you should be ready to play MQA. So let's find a track. So we'll go here. And the first one there is Rudy by Supertramp with an M by the side, which means it's master. So let's go there and play. Just let me check. Yep, we're definitely playing. As you can see, it says master there. Okay, if we go back, and choose the next, the one next one down. That's not an MQA track. So when you look there, it just says Hi-Fi, which means it's not an MQA track. So if I go back, and we go there again. Yep, that is playing and that is a master's track. So we are good to go with MQA. Now in this shot, I'll be going back and forth showing the LED colour of the XDSD and how it changes from green to magenta. As you can see, the LED changes to magenta for MQA tracks and changes to green for non-MQA tracks. And all is great! So there you have it, MQA on iOS software. I hope that video was useful. If you've got any questions at all, please don't hesitate to contact us on support. We'd be more than happy to help hear from you and help you out. Right, well that's it from me. I'm off to listen to some MQA and I think I might treat myself to a G&T. Night all. <laughs>